All right, today's project is uh, I'm finally going to replace the windshield washer, <laughs> windshield wiper motor in the service truck. You guys remember the video I made last year where I was par had to park underneath a car wash and do the rain -X? I still haven't fixed it. Finally decided that today's going to be the day that I actually fix it. This brand new part has been rolling around in my truck for a couple of years. Now, I'm a huge believer in rain -X. This isn't exactly because of laziness. It probably it is, I mean, because I've been lazy. I've had the opportunity to do everything, but I like rain -X on the windshield more than I like windshield wipers. rain -X just works better. But I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out because I did get stuck in the rain today and I had to pull over, wash the windshield, and put, on, um, uh, put rain -X back on the windshield because rain -X only lasts so long. That's the, major, the only issue with it. But I'll show you guys what is happening. So you can hear that hellacious noise that's coming from that motor. I don't know what's going on inside the motor, but it's locked up and the windshield wiper is most of the time will only go a couple of ways or a couple of times, but we're gonna go ahead and take this cowl off and show you how to get this done. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and took all these little screws out and take that other wiper off. So normally you wouldn't have to take both of these cowls off, but I do remember I had a problem with the washer nozzles on this. And I was trying to blow them out one day with the airline and I ended up disconnecting them in here and I never fixed it. Now that we have everything loose, you have to pull them up a little bit and slide them forward. So the problem I have with the um, washer nozzles was the inside of the actual rubber hose is breaking down at some point and it was actually clogging up the nozzles. So I've got some new hose. I'm gonna do this separately, but I need to take all this hose off and redo it. You can tell my cowl has seen better days. I probably need to go ahead and replace this. It's very, very brittle. So this is what we're after. The motor is right back in here. All we need to do is take this nut off that takes our arm loose. We could take these two bolts bolt down there, holding it on, and then those three small bolts off, and then the motor will come off. And all you do now, remove these three eight millimeter bolts. And now all we do is put it all back together. So let's tear this dude open and show you what's inside. Little T T25 Torx. I believe this is, I don't know if this is a factory one or not. I think it is. You get a better light set up. All right, we got our electric motor. It's like it's a, uh, it's spinning nicely. Big old magnets in there. No bearing in the back. Just a little shaft, bushing. Brushes seem to be pretty warm. All of these little plastics are probably gonna snap off. I ain't that worried about it. It's just gonna be a plastic gear in there and um, basically see how it works. Doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with it. Hmm. Wonder if our problem lies elsewhere. Got our electronics in the back. Must be epoxied in there. Either that or there's a... No, no screw. So 
maybe there's been one right there. Yeah, it's just where they injected the epoxy right there to hold that uh, circuit board in. So I'm not gonna go through the trouble of getting this thing out. I'm not trying to do an in-depth how it works. I just thought maybe you guys would like to see the insides of it. So at one point I can give you or one little tip. Once you get to this point, make sure you get in the cab, turn the key on and try it. I've done this job before and I don't know how many bad wiper motors I've gotten straight out of the box from company, you know, aftermarket supply companies, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Napa. I don't think I've ever gotten one from the manufacturer that was bad, but for some reason, small box stores or small, or not small, but you know what I mean, aftermarket auto parts stores tend to um, have junk out of the box, but let's go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. So I'm sure you guys can hear that. That one doesn't sound too good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cowl back on and everything because I need to use the truck tomorrow, but I'm probably gonna have to buy another windshield wiper motor and put it on here pretty soon because that one sounds terrible. So the tip I wanted to tell you guys about this cowl, once these have been on your trucks for a while, they get this kind of dingy gray and you can paint them if you want to, but paint will end up flaking off eventually. There's some products you can use called like Mother's Back to Black works okay. Here's the best thing that I found. Just take you a torch. And if you do that with the whole thing, you could actually get it all the way back to looking pretty. Kind of cooks everything off, makes it shiny. I'm not worried about it on a service truck, but I thought you guys might kind of like that. Well, today's project, I'm gonna put the windshield washer fluid hose back on the service truck and I'm not gonna talk a whole lot during this project because I'm still pretty pissed off about the whole real estate deal. So probably be an entire montage of it. Windshield wiper motor's on, nozzles are, are cleaned out, and the nozzle hoses are working pretty good. So, onward to the next project. Subscribe, or else.